to this week's summer reading project. This week we are making fee filet houses. And fee filets are fun. That's a spirit that exists in a lot of different cultures, most commonly known as the Irish Will of the Wisp. And it's interesting because all these years later, we understand that there is some scientific back, some vision of what they were actually seeing. But our houses are to house a fee filet. We're going to house them with a little candle inside flickering so it looks like there's light. And I was really excited about this project because there is very little limitation to what you can do with your house, short of just how you can imagine it. But I did want to show a skill because at the library we used quite a bit color transitions and gradients in our examples. And so this one's going to go from red to orange to yellow. And I have all three colors here. I'm going to start with my paintbrush just a little bit wet and some paint. And I'm going to start with this color being, this corner, being red. And then where I have that red ending, I'm going to pick up a little bit of orange. I did not clean off my brush. I still have red paint on it. And I'm going to brush the orange over it. So they start here at the line to blend together. And then I'm going to transition back. I'm still not wiping off the paint off my brush because as I keep moving, it's going to keep transitioning into that color. And so now my brush still has a little bit of red in it, but it's almost entirely orange, which is good because we're actually going to transition the other way. I'm picking up the yellow a lot sooner than I picked up the orange, just because that's a bigger transition. And so I'm going to put some yellow down and keep working this orange through. And right there, it's starting to smooth back out. Don't worry about the corners too much, or the where the other pieces connect. I'm going to pick up some more yellow and keep working it through there. And then this corner, I want to be entirely yellow. And there it is. So the hardest thing about this skill, and this is the bottom of my house, is taking the same skill and applying it to the roof. And the hard thing about it is checking your lines. So if this matters to you, you want to be careful and make sure that wherever you start the orange on one side is also where you start the orange on the other side. I am not quite so particular about this, so I'm actually going to keep my corner to corner. I'm going to have this corner be yellow, the center be orange, and that color be red, that corner be red. So I'm not going to take my house apart because I have these little f like puzzle connecting pieces from the other side, and so I want to make sure those get painted too, because if not they'll just stick out. So I'm going to start on this side being yellow. I do have to be slightly more careful here because I don't want the color to just splash around everywhere. But I do want this whole corner to be yellow. And I'm making sure to get that middle piece. You can do the gradient on top of it. It is just slightly more work to make sure that it's even. And then with that yellow, I'm going to keep going. A little bit of yellow here. And I'm going to start picking up my orange. And what I do, I really do just like scoop up just a little bit of paint and I push it down and then I'm going to brush it through. And you see that streak right there? The advantage of having a little extra paint, and if you need to, get a tiny bit of water. It'll help brush your paint smooth. When in doubt, if you have too much paint, brush it through to the darker side. It is easier to make the darker color light than it is, sorry, it's easier to make the darker color than it is to re-lighten up the other side once it's already been cross-painted. There we go. So here's my orange. I'm gonna keep going now that I have almost entirely orange and I'm gonna smooth that out. The hard thing here is I need to think about the other side. So right about, right about there, there you go. Just marking it really lightly because this part is also orange, but that little corner right there still needs some yellow in it. So I'm trying to make sure that my diagonal lines are smooth. 
as I come across the house. And just be careful of your string. There we go. And I do mine on a diagonal, just honestly because I think that diagonal lines are a little easier to keep clean. And my inner perfectionist really likes smooth lines. And so I still have that little corner, a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow, there we go. Smooth that out. Same thing here, a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow. And the really important thing, and the great thing about doing this in acrylics, is I keep working my paint, right? I keep brushing it through, I keep smoothing it out, I keep adjusting it slightly. One of the great things about acrylics is that as long as the paint is wet, like actually wet, not like partially dry, but as long as the paint is wet, you can still manipulate it. Which is great from an art viewpoint because when I'm blending colors, I want that line to be as smooth as possible. And to get it, to get that color change to be smooth, I need to keep working it. So I'm gonna go to the other side now and I'm gonna put some red in this corner. And then transition back into my orange. Again, trying to smooth out that line. So I have too sharp of a line right there, so I'm going to smooth it out. And it is just a little bit of back and forth, a little bit of red, a little bit of orange in this instance, and eventually it'll come together. All the while notice that I have not yet cleaned off my paintbrush. I keep going. The colors will smooth themselves out. There we go. So I have that part looks pretty good, so I just need to finish this corner. This part is orange, just pure orange. And then I'm transitioning into a little bit of red orange. So that was too much red. There we go. And I did forget that little corner. I'm just gonna brush it down really smoothly. And there, my roof now goes from yellow to orange to red. Please decorate your house. Everyone should have a little bit of moss, a couple of sticks, some different things. There are some really beautiful examples of what we here have decided to do with our houses. And I hope everyone has a great week.